Hello, ang i-discuss ko ngayon ay tungkol sa modes of reproduction in flowering plants at ang ating objectives ay to describe the reproductive parts of plants and their functions and also to describe the modes of reproduction in flowering plants. So una, mayroon tayong tinatawag na sexual reproduction in plants. Pag sinabi po nating sexual, it involves the production of male and female gametes. The transfer of the male gametes to the female ovules in a process called pollination. So meaning to say, yung plants, nakakarami siya or dumadami yung plants dahil nag-undergo siya sa process ng sexual reproduction at kailangan natin ng male gametes and ng female gametes para makabuo ng seeds. And yung tawag sa process kapag nag-meet yung male gametes to the female ovules ay pollination. Yung flowering plants, according to the botanist, nilabelan nila ang flowering plants either angiosperm or gymnosperm. When we say angiosperm, they have seeds that are enclosed in a container or also called ovary. Kasi doon sa part Uh, kasi doon sa part ng flower, meron tayong tinatawag na ovary na kung saan nandun yung ovules and then eventually pag yung ovules, nasamahan siya ng um, pollen grains, makakabuo ngayon ng seeds or yung ovules ay madedevelop siya into seed. While on the other hand, we have here the word Uh, gymnosperm, meaning to say they have no flowers or fruits and have naked seeds on the surface of their leaves. Kung si angiosperm po, they have seeds enclosed, meaning to say nakatago yung buto dito kay angiosperm, dito naman kay gymnosperm, naked seeds, meaning to say kitang-kita mo siya dahil makikita mo siya sa surface of their leaves. Let us now proceed on the flowers. Flowers, reproductive structures of plants, and their most important function is to ensure fertilization of the egg cell within the ovule. Here are the parts of a flower. A flower is composed of the following parts. We have the corolla, stamen, pistil, receptacle, and the peduncle. When we say corolla, it comprises the petals of flowers. Tandaan nyo po, kay corolla, ito po yung mga petals. Again, sa corolla, nandito po yung mga petals or ito po yung mga petals. And we all know that petals come in various shapes and sizes. Pati in color, of course, di ba? As you can see here, sa picture natin, Uh, marami siyang petals, iba-iba yung shapes, iba-iba yung size, iba-iba yung kanyang colors. And ano ba ang trabaho or yung function ni Corolla? Uh, corolla is for protection and attraction. Sini na attract Aside sa human, um, yung mga agents of pollination and uh, tinatawag silang pollinator, sila yung mga na attract sa um, petals or Corolla. It contain nectarines also. So when we say nectarines, ito yung um, nagpo-produce ng scent. Di ba yung mga flowers, meron silang mga uh, amoy na naa-attract doon yung mga pollinators and also tayong mga tao. And also yung corolla, their bright colors and scent, nakakasabi ko lang yung scent, ito yung nectarines. Uh, it attracts agents of pollination. After corolla, next natin is yung calyx. Calyx comprises the sepals of the flowers. A while ago, diniscuss natin yung corolla. Pagka corolla, tandaan nyo po mga anak, corolla, petals. Then yung calyx, sepals. And it is typically color green. So, in this picture, ito yung tinatawag natin na calyx. This one, yung color green. This is the calyx and sabi rin dito, it protects the flower when it is still a bud. Of course, itong petals, nung una yan, 
di ba? Nakatago pa siya dito. Nakatago pa siya dito kay Calix, okay? Or kay Sepal. So, habang lumalaki siya, of course, bumubuka na siya. Pati si Sepal or pati si Calix na rin ay bumubuka. Again, pag si Calix, it comprises the sepals. Now, we have here the pistil. The pistil, that is the female part of the flower. Kasi diba sabi natin kanina, sa sexual reproduction, kailangan ng um, male and female gamit. So, of course, uh, dapat meron muna siyang female part. And yung female part nga ng flower ay tinatawag nating pistil and it is made up of three parts. Ano yung three parts na yon Stigma, style, and the ovary. Define natin sila isa-isa. This one is the stigma. The stigma is the top of the female part of the flower. Itong picture na nakikita ninyo, kumbaga naka-zoom siya, kaya ganyan yung itsura niya. So, tandaan ninyo, si stigma, siya yung pinaka nasa ibabaw nung pistil. Okay? So, tandaan ninyo, si stigma, siya yung pinaka nasa ibabaw ng female part of the flower. Aside from that, stigma, swollen knob tip of the pistil and also, pollen from another flower collects on the stigma's sticky surface. So, ang keyword natin for stigma ay sticky. Again, stigma, sticky. Dito po nalalagay yung mga pollen greens na kinukuha sa ibang flower. Next is the style. The style is the neck of the pistil. It is long, slender tube that connects the stigma, connects the stigma and ovary. Meaning to say, di ba ito yung stigma, si stigma siya yung sticky. And then, sabi kanina, ang meaning daw ni style, siya, ay, siya yung neck, siya ay mahaba. So, this one is the style. Okay? Kinokonekta, pinagkokonekta ang stigma at ang ovary. And then, enlarged basal portion of the pistil that houses the ovule. So, this one naman is yung pangatlong part ng pistil. We have here the ovary. So, yan yung ovary and nasa loob ng ovary is yung ovule. So, kumbaga, etong si ovary, siya yung pinakalagayan. Ano? For example, garapon siya. So, etong si ovary, At siya yung mga lagay, nasa loob ni ovary, ang tawag natin sa kanya ay ovule. Okay? Wala pong malilito ha. Yung ovary, siya yung pinaka-house, siya yung pinakalagayan. At yung nakatira sa ovary ay yung ovule. Sabi pa dito, the ovary protects the ovules. Ayan nga, di ba? Uh, dahil nga siya yung pinakalagayan, of course, po protektahan niya yung nasa loob niya, which is yun nga yung ovules. Pollen travels to the ovules and fertilization takes place. Now, the ovules will develop into seeds. ba diba sabi ko kanina, yung ovules, once na masamahan siya ng pollen, na si pollen ay nanggagaling sa anther, na sasabihin ko mamaya sa male part of the flower, eto ngayon, ay develop and once na magsama si pollen and si ovules, ang mabubuo natin ay seeds na eventually si seed ay mag start na siyang maging fruit, maging flower, maging fruit, ganyan. So, tignan ninyo, oh, tinuturo niya si ovary, ovary yung pinakalagayan, and then yung nasa loob nito ay ang ovule. Yan. So, yan yung uh, zoom version ng ovule. It is the part of the flower in which the eggs are produced and seeds develop. Okay, so yung next naman natin ay yung stamen. So, uh, the stamens are the male part of the flower. Kung kanina, yung ating female part ay yung pistil, dito naman ngayon ay yung stamen. Okay? So, ang clue natin, di ba pag sinabi nating men, siya ay lalaki. So, 
Uh, tandaan niyo pag tinanong ko sa inyo kung ano yung male part of a flower or male part of the flower, you will answer stamen kasi nandito yung word na men. Okay? The plant makes pollen in the part of the stamen called the anther. So, di ba sabi ko kanina, yung stigma ay nalalagyan siya ng pollen grains hanggang mapunta siya sa ovary. So, eto pa lang si, um, si pollen ay nanggagaling siya sa anther. Tandaan, ulitin ni teacher, yung pollen grains ay nagmumula kay anther na si anther ay part siya ni stamen. Okay? Next, ano pa? And sabi dito, yung stamen composed of two parts. So, ano kaya yung dalawang parts na yon? So, meron tayong tinatawag na anther and meron din tayong filament. Uulitin ko. Yung stamen, meron siyang dalawang part. Ano yon? Yun yung anther and yung filament. E ano ba yung picture or nasaan si anther, nasaan si filament? So, as you can see, dito sa picture natin, this one, this is the anther, okay? Yun yung anther na kung saan nagpo-produce ng pollen grains. And then, eto naman, yung nagho-hold kay anther, this one. Eto, pwede rin eto. Yung nagho-hold kay anther, yun yung filament. Okay, wala pong magkakabaliktad. So, tignan na lang ninyo yung picture. So, eto for example nga yung stamen ninyo. Eto yung anther. Anther. And then, etong nagho-hold, yung pinakatangkay. Ang tawag doon ay filament. Ayan. So, anther, pollen producing organ of the flower and tip of the filament. And then the filament, it is a stalk that holds up the anther. Next, punta naman tayo sa receptacle. The receptacle, it supports the entire flower. So, dito sa picture, this one is the receptacle. Okay, so yan yung picture natin kanina. Let's have a short review kung natatandaan. This one is the petal. Ayan, nakikita ninyo yung petal, di ba? Sabi kanina, yung petal, siya ay um, tinatawag din na corolla. And then, um, the sepal, that is the color green. Okay, color green siya dito sa bandang gilid na siya yung nag-susupport uh, or nagpo-protect doon sa petal habang ito ay bata pa lamang. And then, itong anther and filament, siya yung um, male part of a flower. While yung female part of a flower naman, which is yung pistil, ay meron siyang stigma, style, and the ovary. And sa loob ng ovary, nandun yung tinatawag natin na ovule. Then, we have the peduncle or stalk. It connects the flower to the branch or stem. So, kung, ang, kung kukuha kayo ng gumamela or any type of flower, yung pinaka-branch na ito, yung manipis, yun yung pedicel. While the other one, yung which is yung mas malaki, kung mas malaki yung sanga na kukuha, kung mas malaking sanga ang kukuha ni mo, ang tawag natin sa kanya ay pedancle. Okay? So, tignan ninyo tong picture sa left side. Nag, nagsanga kayo halimbawa, kumuha kayo ng gumamela, eto ay matatawag natin na pedicel pero kung yung uh, malaking sanga yung kukuhanin mo that is the pedicel. So now I have here an assessment for you to evaluate yourself kung naantindihan mo po ba yung diniscuss natin. So write the correct words in the boxes. We have the word stamens, stigma, petals, ovary and the sepals. Kailangan mo lang ilagay yung sagot doon sa pinaka box, okay? So, of course, hindi naman masusulatan itong pinaka-screen. So, kuha ka po ng papel at ball pen and try to, un to answer this activity. Number one, pollen sticks to this. Okay, saan nadidikit yung pollen? Nandun agad yung keyword natin. Sticks. Anong sabi ko? yung word na sticky. Okay, yun yun. 
Number two, where the seeds grow. Saan kaya? Diba sabi natin, pag yung part na yon nalagyan siya ng pollen, na nandun si ovule, madadevelop. O magiging seed. O sa ang part ng flower yon Number three, this attract insects. Saan kaya na-attract yung insect sa parte ng isang flower? Number four, Where the pollen is made. Mm. Sinabi ko yung kanina. And then number five, this protect the flower before it opens. Okay. Ito pa. Number six, the male part of the flower. Mm. Male part. Male part of the flower. Lalaki. Nasaan kaya dyan yun? Number 7, this attract insects. na ulit lang. This is the female part of the flower which receives the pollen. Kung yung number 6, yung male part. Ngayon naman si number 8, yung female part. Ano kaya yon? Then number 9, this is where pollen is made. Number 10, insects carry this from flower to flower. Ano kaya yung nakukuha ng insects pag dumikit siya sa isang flower, then napunta siya sa ibang flower, may nadidikit sa kanya. Ano kaya yun? Number 11, this protect the flower before it opens. May nagpoprotekta sa kanya yung color green. Number 12, this become seeds after fertilization. Ano kaya yung nagiging seeds na yun? Ano kaya yung number 12, this become seeds after fertilization. So, bago siya maging seed, ano muna siya? Okay, and then last one, this is where the seeds will grow. Nabubuhay or saan nade-develop or nag-grow yung mga buto sa ang parte para siyang bahay. All right. So, I hope na nasagutan ninyo yung activity natin from number 1 to 13 and I will show you the answer right now and I want you to check your work also. Kung medyo mababa yung score mo, pwede pa ma kung mababa yung score mo, pwede mo pa namang ulitin yung panonood, just focus lang sa panonood, okay? So, ito po yung ating sagot.